It's time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. Today we're talking about why it is so important for you to know when to claim Social Security. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thanks so much for being here again. It's good to be here, Kara. So there's all these questions about Social Security and when you should take it, and it kind of depends, but it can really affect your financial picture. You need to know. Yeah, it's huge. I calculated my benefits, and based on my life expectancy, that's a $400,000 stream of income. Wow. If we had an account worth that much money, we'd pay a lot of attention to it. But many people take this decision about when to take Social Security very casually. So number one, uh, one of the most common mistakes is claiming benefits at the wrong age. Is it usually you're taking it too young? Most people that claim benefits at the wrong age are taking it too young. But the wealthier someone is, many times it makes sense to claim the benefit early and leave mm. other accounts alone. So this is something that is not the same for everyone. Everybody's situation is unique tends to be if that's only retirement income you'll have try to wait as long as possible but that's a very general statement again everybody should have a unique study done on their situation and if you're still working probably most likely you're not going to take it yeah if you're still working before your full retirement age you're going to get penalized if you earn over seventeen thousand dollars so okay. most people if they're still working shouldn't take it but again there are exceptions to that okay and then number two you want to uh, there's a problem a lot of people think benefits increase at full retirement age yeah they go up a little bit each month you wait, but there's no magical big jump at your full retirement age. So my re full retirement age is 67. There's not this massive increase at age 67. It's just that incremental increase that happens every month that I wait. Okay. And then you want to be careful because you don't, some people don't understand the rules for married people. Like, should you take it? Should your spouse take it? Should you both take it? Right, and there are these claiming strategies that can have, for instance, my wife Wendy could take it at age 62 and I could wait till age 70. That's good for her because if I predecease her, she's going to get a much bigger benefit. Remember, she steps into my benefit and that surviving benefit will be bigger. Other times, both spouses should wait. So this is, again, a very unique situation that needs to be put into the context of the rest of someone's financial picture. Most people look at the Social Security decision as the only decision they're making. They don't take into account the rest of their financial picture. And that's probably one of the biggest mistakes people make, Kara. Okay, so you want to make sure that you get your ducks in a row because it is real money. And you have an offer for people understanding the benefits of Social Security, which we'll go into about how you take it. You go to BetterMoneyTV.com to get the offer there, and people can have a better understanding. Yeah, it's right from the Social Security Administration. And when I first got it, I thought, oh, it's not going to be any good from Social Security Administration. It's really, really good. It okay. tells you how to get the most out of it and what mistakes to avoid, like we've been talking about. Okay, so the government did do something they good They did a for great you. job. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's better money.